there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another couch video. Silver Fox Game. <laughs> Silver Fox Game. Now, what is the Silver Fox Game? Well, it's just one where women are attracted to older men, but not just any older man. Well, first of all, there's several things a man has to have. See, he has to basically, on a basic level, he's sexually appealing to a wide variety of women, even younger women. Now, what does he have to have? Well, first of all, he has to have some gray hair. He has to have some gray hair or gray beard, something. He, and it usually starts for a man to get into that silver fox category when he's in his 40s, unless he's prematurely gray. But yeah, usually in his 40s, late 40s, uh, something like that. And you know, definitely into his 50s and even 60s. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got some guys out there, they doing their thing. Now, in order to really understand that, it's more than just the gray hair because you got plenty of guys out there with some gray hair and pff, they ain't getting no play for even from women their own age or whoever. Shoot. The thing to understand is all the components that go into a man being considered a silver fox. Now, you got the gray hair, okay, fine. One of the main things a silver fox got is he at least made himself handsome. Let me say that again, made himself handsome. Cause yeah, he's older, but it's not like he's carrying himself old or, you know, just walking around like a uh, bummy and everything. One thing about the silver fox is his grooming, his grooming. So he, yeah, he got the gray hair, gray beard, but he's gonna groom it in such a way where women gonna find it handsome. Understand something with women. If a man just simply grooms himself, he will be considered gene generically handsome to most women. You know, it's not necessarily about his bone structure. It was what he does with his bone structure. And that's really for any man, but I'm talking about the silver fox now. So that's one thing. Another thing is he's in good shape physically. Good shape physically. That's an important thing. He's not necessarily ready to be a fitness model. You, know, you got some who can, but he's in good shape on a physical basis. So he's in decent shape, he's in decent shape. And not just in decent shape, but he still walks around with a vigor. He has some vitality. He ain't just walking down the street slowly. He, he can be like this. So he still got some energy and everything. Like I knew this one guy, he was in his 70s, working on this job and a bunch of young guys. He used to outwork all of us. <laughs> Is, and he really wasn't a silver fox. He went, I don't know if he colored his hair or, but he was in great shape. And I remember a joke, we, we, we were like joking with him. Somebody was like, yeah, you probably tearing your wife up, ain't you? And he was like, yeah, and sometimes I tell her to call a friend to help her out. <laughs> but that's one of the things. That's one of the things. So, you know, you got the man, he's keeping himself up. He is in very good shape. I'll say very good shape, decent shape. Like I say, he don't have to be perfect. In fact, he can even have a little bit of weight on him, but he's in great shape how he moves around and everything. All right, so you got that. Now that's just the base, that's just the foundation. A big thing with a silver fox is they are very good dressers. They don't dress like bums. Even when they dress in casual, it's stylish. So those are the things. So he's going to, he ain't going to just walk around in just some old man clothes. At least most of them. <laughs> most of them. But he's, go, he's going to be stylish. He's going, everything's going to be tight. Everything. He's going to, and he's not, it's not drip that he has. That's more of a young people term. He's going to be style. So he's going to make sure he might have that feet door. Everything is gonna be hooked up head to toe, just on a visual thing, just on a visual thing. But that's only a part of it. That's only a part of it. A big part of the Silver Fox game is just being a cool, grown man. 
Let me say it again, grown man. Like, you know, there's always a big deal about men going out in the streets and, uh, or young men going out in the streets, meeting women and everything. Uh, that's not a silver fox. <laughs> because first of all, no matter how he dressed, how he look going out there trying to talk to women in the streets? They coming to him. Because one thing, the silver fox carry himself like he's in charge, like he's running stuff. And he's going to be cool and calm. If a woman wants to meet him, she ain't. He, she can't be walking down the street and expect this guy gonna say anything. He might look, but he'll keep going. That's because a silver fox got some control in his life. He got some maturity, you know? And it's not about necessarily about how much money he makes, but how he spends it, where he hangs out and everything. If a woman wants to get with a silver fox, oh, she might hit up, she gonna have to hit up that cigar lounge. She's going to hit, hit up that uh, high-end bistro. She's going to have to go to events like an art event or uh, yeah, an art expo, something like that. Uh, you know, might have to go to that jazz club or something like that. Because the Silver Fox, he's carrying himself older. He ain't into the, he ain't going to be in the club. He, you know, you see some of those older guys in the club. Those ain't Silver Foxes. Those are guys who should have left that part of the game alone. So he's going to carry himself in a certain way. A woman's going to have to meet him at a certain place. And even then, she shouldn't expect he's going to just walk up on, hey, baby, how you doing? Or something like that. It's more or less he's going to be sitting, he's going to be sitting there chilling, shooting a breeze with some of the other fellas. She's going to have to probably come over. Or she's going to have to do something. She, she's going to be like, hey, how you doing? Something like that. Because one thing with the silver fox is he's a leader. He, he got it. You know, the woman going to come to him more so than the other way around. She's going to have to say something to him because he's going to be chilled. No matter where he at, he could be in the gym. He's going to be chilled. That's the important thing. But it's about being a grown man about it. A grown man. And he got to have all that stuff because you get some guys out there, you know, they think. Well, I'm just going to get this younger woman just because I got money. And that's not necessarily drawing the woman. Because here's another part of the Civil Fox game, especially with younger women. Older women too, but they kind of know what they're doing. There are some younger women, they'll deal with an older man for the simple reason that he comes off as he knows what he's doing sexually. Sexually. A lot of younger women... They want that guy who can initiate them properly, who know what he's doing. Because one thing with older men in shape, they have a reputation of knowing what they're doing in the bedroom. Indeed, I've talked about Tantra. I've talked about Tantra, Tantra, whatever. Um, a true Tantra master isn't at that level until his 50s. So if you get a man still in good shape, he a silver fox and everything. Shoot, the women, he getting some young women. Indeed, I've personally known several men, several silver foxes that were daddies. <laughs> now, let me say that, daddies to the children of younger women. Indeed, when I was growing up on the street, I had had an uh, older silver fox. He had a young woman with a young child. His child. That's that silver fox thing, because the thing and the real key is how he carries himself. He's not going to carry himself like a young man. Indeed, a lot of women, even young women, don't like uh, young men who still act immature. See, one thing that turns a woman on about a man, period, is his maturity. Indeed, if, you, if a younger man carries himself in a more mature manner, like legitimately mature, he'll attract women. He'll attract women. And that's that's on some deeper thing. That's on some deeper thing. I'll just say this. When a man's truly mature, emotionally mature, and control himself, that turns on women in a very powerful way. So as long as that man's in shape, as long as he's in shape, now he still gotta be healthy. You can't just you can't just say, oh, just old and you know, he barely getting around, don't have any vitality or anything. Yeah, that, no, no, he still has to have vitality. He still has to have, uh, you know, strength, everything. That's a very important thing, very important. So yeah, that silver fox game, ain't no joke. 
There ain't no joke. That's why you got some older men. That's why you got some older men. They just kind of chill. They just kind of chill. Like I said, you ain't gonna see them in the street. Got an older man look like approaching women in the street randomly. You know, like I said, a woman wants to deal with them. She, she, she better, she better hit those high end places. You know, and it's not necessarily saying the guy got money. He just as a uh, older man, part of who he is is you know he's done some stuff in his career or he got a business. He's going to have. Uh, a place where he's comfortable, you know, where he's comfortable with his life. I'm going to say that at least. And honestly, he could be, he can be anything from a blue collar worker to an actual millionaire. But it's about the image, how he carries himself, his level of fitness, you know, his cool demeanor. That's the Silver Fox game. So anyway, y'all. Uh, now, let me see what I got on time. All right. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.